I'm Jacob Hepner, a four-time CrossFit Games athlete. I'm trading in my barbell for new skills and experiences to see if I really can be the Jacob of all trades. And it's all for a great cause. For every 50,000 views that this video gets, LifeAid will donate $1,000 to the charity listed in the description below. Today, it's me, Jacob, and Patriot, and today, we're gonna be horsing around. This is Patrick. Tell everyone who you are and what this organization, what do you do? Well, I'm Patrick Benson, co-founder and director of War Horses for Veterans. It is an organization for combat veterans and first responders now. It's a premier horsemanship based program to provide opportunities for growth, tools, other things for personal and professional opportunities for combat veterans and first responders. What are we doing today? Today, we're gonna actually run you through a little bit of basics of horsemanship. Okay. And as far as capable of what you're able to do, we're gonna take you. <laughs> I'm a little yeah, nervous and slightly excited. Yeah, that's be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Start up on the top first. All right, we're just gonna pick up this uh, manure here. We're gonna clean it up, put it in that bucket in the corner, and make sure our area is tidy, and then we're gonna head on out here. Okay. I always seem to be working in poop somehow. Okay, so what do I do with the poop that's just sitting there? Am I just scrubbing the ground? Yeah, this is a lot easier than dog poop. Funny story, when I was younger, we used to throw horse manure at each other, and one time I got pink eye because I hit in the eye with horse poop. Now, what's the horse's name again? Dual chick. Dual chick. Dual chick. All right. All right, dual chick. Hey, you're kind of slow. Oh, you brought me a hat. I feel like Patrick's making fun of me, but you know what? I'm gonna rock this hat, me and Dual Chick. Hey. No. Okay, there we go. All right, Dual Chick, I think we're gonna come over here a little bit, big guy. I'm assuming you're a guy. All right, Rifle. All right, Rifle. He's a good boy. But it's a way I can control the horse with just my breath, uh, my body position. The idea is for me to work not hard, work smarter. Soften your body, take deep breaths, let it out. You're going to notice the difference. There. You got him so relaxed, he went to the bathroom. <laughs> that horse trusts you. Next thing you know, you're riding this horse around. And before you know it, they're fixing you at the same time you're fixing them. And that's how I came across the what this was doing for me as a combat vet. You know, we got to learn to feel again. Matt, right, so, switching out horses. Yeah, we switch horses out real quick. And I want you to work, work this one in the round pen. I want you to see the difference. So let me ask you this. Tonight, if I'm in an argument with my wife tonight and I slow down my breathing and take deep breaths, will that help the argument out? I tell you what, he doesn't have as much giddy up and go as Rifle has. Rifle had a lot more powder behind him. Dual chick just wants to hang out on the couch. All right, I think we're getting on this horse now. We are, we're about to do this. I'm okay. handing my robe off. Rifle first before you go fast, because everyone wants to go fast, but if you don't do Oh, I don't want to go fast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, got it. All right. Let me ask you a question real fast. Go ahead. If you had $10, would you bet I'd fall off this horse today? No, for 20 I would. <laughs> now, uh, most people think, well, I got to kick this horse to go. We don't kick horses. OK, we just squeeze them. What we're going to do is give him a simple direction. We want to go that way, give him a little squeeze, and off we go. OK, we're going to this. I'm going to hit the gas pedal. You ready? Gas pedal activated. A little squeeze. Oh, I'm just Poncho V over here with this flappy hat. I'm looking good. Should have uh, got a cowboy song. Home, home on the range. OK. Oh, me and 2-Bit. I, I keep hearing it's called Dual Chick. 
All right, so Jason, why are you here? Like, what do you do here? What I'm in charge of is just making sure the program runs smoothly. If you come out here and you're amped up, you're stressed out, whatever the case may be, he's gonna tell you. At some point in your life, you, you either done something or had something that was you know, traumatic habit to you. So you've taken a little piece of that and put it in your backpack. So combine that with multiple times a week. Before you know, you're carrying a, a stinking you know, Volkswagen bus on your back, and guess what? There's no way to set it down. Yeah. You, know, you don't have that out. Uh, that's where you start seeing guys, uh, you know, they isolate, they go home, they drink themselves to oblivion. So the more they come out here, the more they establish this relationship with these animals, the better off they are. You've learned to relax when you're riding this horse. You're calm, you leave here. When you go home to your spouse, significant other, whatever it may be, what's your demeanor gonna be like now? Well, you, shoot, now you're calm. You know, yeah. I can build a better relationship with you because I'm more relaxed, I'm open, let's talk about this. Over time, that only improves. All right, so we learned how to go really, really slow, and now Jason's gonna have me go really, really fast, actually just a little bit faster and slow. Not really fast, just medium fast. There you go. <laughs> what do you mean, turn my hands over? Uh, oh. Me too. Guys, this is the most nerve wracking thing I've done so far for this video series. So Jason had me on a, a good horse, don't get me wrong, but a little bit of a, a slower horse. Now I'm on Argento to really test, you know, my horsemanship and how far I've come and really, you know, put the pedal to the metal. Let's try to get a move off. Hold my breath. Huh. Okay. Yes. I want you to stop with just your breath. Just let the air out of your lungs and sit. There. That's impressive. That's impressive to me. He does not want to move. This is a late, Arjuno's lazy. Jason, it's not funny when you're laughing at me the whole time. <laughs> He says, he says, I'm tired of this noob. All right, we're learning a lot today. One, we learned that I'm really good on slow horses and really bad on fast horses. And we're gonna take him back to the stables and go clean up. Two, dual chick, I wanna call him two bit, I don't know why. Dual chick's my favorite. Giving you a brush down. How well do you think I did today with the horses? Uh, you're off to get started. An optic, see, I like a little realism, a little optimistic kind of. No, you gotta start somewhere. Yeah, sure. Yeah, no, you did great. You okay. did great, you, did you come off? No. Then we did great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I had a good time. I think I learned a lot. I think the biggest thing I think I learned was the ability of how a horse can really knows your anxiety and knows more about you than sometimes I know about myself. Like Absolutely. my tension, my anxiety, how I'm stressed about something and the horse knows it, but I don't. I think that's really cool and that's something I really learned today. No, and, and actually, <laughs> well, thank you. So are these guys just local or all over? The uh, veterans, the combat veterans are flown in from all over the country. Free of charge. We mm. pay for everything. They apply. We make sure they're a good fit for us. We're a good fit for them. Sure. And we and they're like I said, they're from all over the country, and they can come back as many times as they want, as long as they go and they mentor and bring back other veterans. And usually they're bringing back their brothers and sisters, and that's another way to give them a chance and opportunity to serve and and lead. And with law enforcement. We're really focused on the local law enforcement. We bring in some law enforcement from around the country mm -hmm. as guests, and once again, we pay for it completely. And it's all provided by the local public and things of that nature and the supporters that are out there and the donors. If someone wants to help 
you guys and your your passion for veterans and law enforcement officers, how do they go about doing that? They can go to uh, warhorsesforveterans.org and you can go in there and click on donate or you can go to info at warhorsesforveterans.org. Well, thanks so much, Patrick. Not I appreciate it so much. No, thanks. Thank yeah. You. That's it for this episode. And I don't know how else to, that's how the cookie crumbles. It was a good day. It really was a good day. <sighs> hey guys, what's going on? And thanks for watching. I had a great time filming this episode. And if you guys can help us out by sharing this video, for every 50,000 views that this video gets, Life A will donate $1,000 to the charity listed in the description below. And if you haven't watched last week's video, make sure you click right 